Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to Metroid Dread. Here we are back with Dread, and we are going to kill this guy first, because he's annoying. And then we have to use the speed booster technique to get out of this room. Pretty funny, huh? But, uh, yeah. So we're going to have to hug this wall a little bit, and then we're going to fall down and grab this ledge, and we're out of here. Okay. There's a nice energy recharge right here, so we're good. Okay, so why did we go ahead and battle this boss early? I mean, normally you'd think that battling a boss later would be the best move possible. Put it off till you had more E-Tanks and more resources. But once you know about the Shine Spark technique, it's pretty easy to take that boss down rather easily, and it's just a rather fun time to do that. But there's also another reason besides that to take that boss down as early as we did. And the reason is because now we have access to a new area, okay? And with the cross bombs equipped, plus a little speed booster, spin bu uh, spin boost, and uh, some other little techniques I'm going to show you guys here, um, we're going to be able to get the early space jump. And the early space jump will allow us to get the early gravity suit. The early gravity suit, coupled with the early space jump, will allow us to get the early screw attack. And then we're going to go through the rest of the game kind of normal forward, and then we're going to battle SQ and the Wave boss pretty much back to back. And it's going to make both of them a lot, lot easier when we have all these upgrades. So I'm going to show you my favorite route for doing this. I've done this two previous times, and I'm pretty good at this point. But first, I want to show you guys a little technique for getting the early, um, early missiles here. There are some missiles you can grab here, but um, the technique is a little bit hard on getting them. So first off, take out that jerk. And this one up here, you know. Um, come on. Come on. Come on, free aim system. Don't let me down, right? Okay. So we take down that jerk, and... Ugh, we have to take him down again because he got to the other wall, huh? Yeah. Whatever. That's the X-Parasites for you. So, what we need to do is come in here with a running start. So you don't want to back away too far. You just want to get about this far away. Uh, so that you come in here without having... Hit the speed booster, you want to slide as soon as you hit the ground there. And then we're going to save the jump on the other side, okay? I'm going to show it off again so you guys know what you're doing and so I can actually get it to work this time. So jump here, jump, wall jump, slide, okay? And this is where you want to get up and save the boost, but I didn't do that for some reason. Maybe I was too amazed that I actually got it. <laughs> anyway, you want to do this technique before you grab the space jump because then it's no longer possible. So you have to do a much more annoying technique, you know? So that's, that's what you want to avoid with this technique. It can take at least... This is probably the worst item in the game to get. Even worse than the one in Berenia when it comes to speed booster puzzles, in my opinion. Ugh. I should have been able to save it there. I don't know why that didn't work. I think it's because I morphed instead of slid, you know? I think that's what happened that went wrong. Okay. Ugh. Should have been able to slide there. I don't know why I couldn't. Okay, anyway. We'll try as long as it takes, but it shouldn't take too much longer. This is probably the most annoying item, I think, when it comes to 100% me to grab. Um, this is my least favorite item, but I'm sure you guys have a least favorite item that's more annoying, or that you guys find more annoying. I think that this one, no matter how good your technique is, it can just be hard to get this timing right. You know? Ugh. The thing is, I need to not morph. I need to not press down. Again, once I'm sliding, I need to keep sliding instead of morphing. You know, does that make sense? I got it the other day without, like, much effort at all, but for some reason my playthrough here is not working as well. Maybe it's an audio cue, because that would be the only difference I can think of. Okay, we'll turn up the volume a little bit. Here we go. Oh, okay. There we go. Maybe there was an audio cue there, I'm not sure. But that's how you do that um, that puzzle without tearing your brains out, which is what you're going to have to do if you have to do it the other way, which is just how you're going to have to do it if you get the space jump before you do that. So, you know, you have to do that one before the space jump if you want to keep your sanity, at least in my opinion. Maybe there's a third easier way to do it, but the other way to do it is to use the wave beam plus the space jump to get it. And that's just annoying. Okay. So, first off, guys, I want you to practice a little thing with me. We're going to practice the instant morph, okay? So, once you know that the button, the trigger down there is the instant morph, just practice pressing it and doing a little morph here, okay? See? 
And so you can do that on the ground, but anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to hold the missile button. We're going to do jump, jump, morph, and then that's good, okay? Because what it does is it unlocks the path up to the space jump here using the cross bombs, okay? Now what you have to do is use the speed booster here in order to do this successfully after you destroy this annoying enemy. Okay, so we're going to back up to here. We're going to speed booster, right? Okay, now do this technique again, but now with the speed booster. Now this technique is not easy. It took me a lot of tries yesterday. It took me a lot more tries the day before, but now I think I'm pretty much down to it. Make sure you have the spin jump for this technique because otherwise it doesn't work too well. Anyway, that is how you get the early space jump. And now you have space jump, so you don't really care about the spin jump anymore. You need the spin jump to get this successfully, but still. There are actually other ways to do this technique without doing that, if that makes any sense. You don't absolutely have to do this technique. Um, there are some other techniques, but this is the one I found the absolute easiest. Um, I think that all the other ones are a lot harder, in my honest opinion. So, you know, um, I think that's kind of a problem. <laughs> anyway, these enemies are a little annoying, but we're going to get out this way, okay? So you just space jump over here. You can use the space jump underwater, but it won't gain you any height, and I just fell for no reason. Grapple me back to success, everybody. Uh... So we do our normal jump up to there, and then we get up to here, and there we are, good to go. So once you destroy this little thing down here, whatever we've been destroying this entire game, those growths, you know, I guess you could still leap over that if you had to while you were speed boosting. So I guess that technique might still be viable. Anyway, once I have this, once I have the space jump, I am out of here, you know. I am just out of here. Yeah, six. Gotta love the speed booster. Anyway, once you have the space jump, you've done the most challenging tricks of the game already. Now we're just going to play a pretty vanilla route to go get the gravity suit. Now you can also save down there before you do that if you want to be ready. You'll also talk to Adam and whatnot, but um, anyway. This is the technique I recommend most. Um, it's the one I've had the easiest time mastering over time. Uh, it's not exactly easy, but once you learn that you can spin jump, so you do spin jump, spin jump, do the instant morph, and you're holding the missile button the entire time you're speed boosting, or at least at the very end, and then you lay the cross bomb. Then once you're on the ground, you just, you know, do a shine spark straight up. You don't have to press any directions. And then you'll automatically grab the ledge and everything. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward and easy. And this is also intentional for, um, this is also a, a technique the developers, you know, intended, of course. But it's also a technique that's pretty easy to pull off successfully. I, I don't think that I have much trouble with it. And, you know, that might just be me, but I, I don't know. I just think it's a pretty easy technique. And then to get to this transporter, it's using the intended the intended route. You know, we're not doing a massive divergence. We're not doing anything like that. Anyway, you can also get this um, get this missile right now. Use a cross bomb. So you know, grab this missile right away. Go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, this is a power bomb block, by the way, as you can see. So uh, we can't go through here yet, but it makes for a good routing when you do 100% and you have to come back here. As we're going to do later, I'll show you why it's useful. Okay, so now we're going to do the transporter and we're going to do the, the early gravity suit trick here. You don't actually have to do the trick if you don't want to, but I don't see any reason not to do the trick because you have to get this missile expansion later anyway. So you might as well do the early gravity suit trick. This, suit, this uh, trick can be done... As soon as you have the speed booster, I believe, I think you can get early gravity. I don't think you even need the spin jump or anything. Um, but you need to be able to get here, so I guess you need to have the ice missile. So, um, yeah. Anyway, the early gravity suit is used... Oh, wait, you do need the ice missile because, see, you know, these growths. You have to get them out of the way. Anyway, so what you'll do is you'll grab an energy part and you might th think too much of it. But once you have the energy part, what we're going to do is get the early gravity suit if we can pull this off successfully. So you have to speed booster here... There's a speed booster block in this direction, but it wouldn't go off for us for some reason. Anyway, we have the space jump now, but this this is like the hardest uh, trick in the game. So be prepared for it to take a little while for you. Anyway, get the technique down. Slide. This is the hard part. It's these blocks right here. These freaking blocks are my bane of my existence. You have to hit them before you hit the water down here. Anyway. Yeah, and you have to platform them on them to successfully get out of here if you mess this up while you're while you, when you don't have the space jump. So just know that. Anyway, um, so here's the technique, basically, again. You have to do this to beat the game 100%, by the way. But you... 
I might need my audio cue again. Anyway, what you'll do is you'll... Uh, I'll try it once more without the audio cue, and if I can't get it, then... Okay. I got the Shine Spark going. So, you want to spin jump through that, or you want to... Um, you want to shoot down immediately is what you want to do, and I keep forgetting to do that, so... We're going to make sure to do it right this time. Immediately shoot down, and that's the only hard part there is. So, let's try it again. Okay, here we go. And... Uh, uh, I'll, I'll get my audio cue going so I know when my speed booster is going off. Because without the audio cue, it's a little bit tough to know when that's going off. But it makes the commentary a little bit of a problem. Okay, here we go. Nope, missed it even with the audio cue. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, got the, got the shine spark. Shoot down immediately. And spin, and we messed it up. <laughs> okay, come on. One more try. One more trick. Might take a few more because this is the hardest trick in the game. And you can also do the vanilla gravity, but we have to come back to this anyway. So it's good practice for when I eventually want to do a run where we do early gravity. Anyway, hardest trick in the game, in my opinion. But it's absolutely necessary and 100% intended. So, you know, anyway. It's just such a tight speed booster, too, you know? So you got a speed booster there. You got to jump here. Ugh, the Shine Spark just goes off too easy, you know? <laughs> Ugh, I wish there was a longer hold time for it, too. I wish that, like, there was an easy mode for this game where you had a longer hold time for the Shine Spark, because that would be, like, ideal for me <laughs> practicing this, because the Shine Spark can be a little bit of a, a little bit of a difficult thing to pull off. Okay, here we go. So we go down here, shoot immediately. Ugh, I pressed jump for some reason. Wanted more time to shoot, I guess. So... That was a mistake. Didn't need to do that. Otherwise, I need to be spin jumping, you know? Okay, here we go. Okay. So you duck under here, shoot, shoot, and then run up here, duck under here, do the technique again. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Good. We got it. Okay. Okay, everybody. Once you get the first part, the next part's pretty easy. Anyway, you need that to get that missile expansion right there, but whatever. But once you get it, you can just come down here, and you can blow your way on out of here. And then the gravity suit is right up above you. So we're going to grab that and get to a save station in this part right away. Well, the gravity suit isn't right above you. You have to do the normal technique of getting up here and then shooting this growth. You will need the diffusion beam for this. That's why it's not like something you can pull out of nowhere, because you have to blow up this growth. You can only do that if you have diffusion or wave. I don't know how you'd have wave at this point. Anyway, so you roll through here and fall down into this pit, etc. Uh, everybody moving around. Dogs be barking. Uh, fun stuff. Anyway, so you get through here. Longer loading times up for the gravity suit. Then we have the gravity suit going off. See, can I blast this growth through here? I can. Nice. That's useful. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know if that's useful. Anyway, we'll let the gravity suit put itself on here, but this was a good part to do both the early gravity suit and the early space jump and everything based on the cross bombs. This is my favorite route personally. It's not the fastest of all routes, but it's pretty fast. Uh, barking dogs in the background. That's what happens when people be stirring. Okay. Anyway, let's quickly get through this part here and get to our save station. And then by next time, that'll go away. We won't have to deal with the barking background. Okay. Anyway, we now have the gravity suit, which means water is no longer a problem at all. So we can just jump on out of here with the power of the space jump. Yep. And there's our navigation booth. Adam's going to say some stuff about how, or rather, Raven Beak's going to say some stuff about how the uh, planet is now cooling, etc. And, yeah, now we're just, uh, we're out of here, you know? So, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching our super sequence break part. Hopefully you can pull off those techniques yourself, practice them up, and I will see you guys next time with the next video. So, stay tuned, and I will see you all later.